Hi guys, I'm Alex, and I'm pissed off because my laundry's still wet. So, I'm a freshman at Lake Forest College, which is in Illinois. I'm 18. Uh, I'm originally from Bethesda, Maryland, which is, you know, cool. It's kind of far, but <laughs> not that far away. Uh, I guess I'll just tell you guys a little bit about me in terms of, like, coming out and stuff. I don't really have, like, anything prepared regarding like, things about me and stuff. I guess you guys will learn more as, like, videos, more Tuesday videos come. Um, but yeah, coming out for me was interesting. I did it in a way that I didn't really, I didn't mean for it to happen. Uh, my parents are both super conservative Catholics, and so, like, that was kind of awkward. Uh, but what basically happened was I went to this RYA meeting, which is Rainbow Youth Alliance. Um, it's, like, a local group um, where people basically just come and talk about how they're feeling regarding the issues and just about their experiences. And I went, and I guess I, I told my parents that I was somewhere else, and I don't know how they found out, but they found out that I had been lying, and I don't know how, I didn't cover my tracks very well. But my dad called me, you know, demanding knowing where I was, and I had to tell him. Uh, his response was, you know, that he loved me no matter what, and that he just wanted me to come home and that we would talk about it. We never really talked about it. Um, I mean, we kind of did. He kind of just told me he would love me no matter who I chose to be with, uh, which was a great, you know, response on his part. Uh, my mom was a little bit different because she was expecting answers to questions I didn't know the answers to that I still probably don't. And, you know, she kind of just, when I couldn't give her what she wanted, she kind of just acted like it hadn't happened and her way of dealing with it was by not dealing with it. Uh, uh, but... Earlier this year, I started date. I was dating this girl, and you know, I called my dad and I told him. I said, you know, I'm really happy. Uh, I'm happy here. I'm happy with her. I'm just happy in general. And I think he was glad that I was feeling that way. And I mean, I I do think part of him has trouble accepting it, but I think uh, he feels it's his responsibility to kind of be like, you know, play the role as the dad and say he doesn't care. Uh, so I'm not quite sure how to how to deal with that, but I do think my parents genuinely are trying to come around and be okay with it. I mean, they could have, it could have, like, started off a lot worse. It could have been them unwilling to accept it, uh, and giving me a really hard time and being nasty about it, but they've both, you know, been genuinely, like, they've been reassuring me that they love me no matter what, and my mom said the like, though she can't accept my lifestyle, not yet at least, that, you know, she still loves me, and it doesn't really change the way she sees me as a person, which is better than, you know, expected. Uh, coming out in high school, I didn't come out in high school. I kind of was out. I mean, if people asked, I would say it, but because I, like, didn't know what I was, because I don't, you know, now I know I don't label, but back then I wanted a label. I wanted to know. I wanted something to, like, explain, but I couldn't, and so I didn't come out at all, uh, and I... <laughs> Also, I went to an all-girls private Catholic high school, so uh, I just felt awkward. I remember feeling just super weird in my own skin and uncomfortable. They, you know, like a regular weekend for a lot of girls in my school would be to just go out and party with the same group of people and, you know, hook up with, it, like, within the same group of guys, and it was just like they would be dating guys from that group and stuff, and I just remembered feeling really pressured to be a part of that. But at the same time, I've always been the kind of person that's like, no, don't do anything that you don't feel comfortable doing. And so I didn't, but I felt uncomfortable for not doing it. So it was just this, like, crazy situation, um, you know, like the whole peer pressure aspect of it. Uh, but I just remember never feeling comfortable with the concept of seeing guys or dating them. And I was like, and then, you know, sophomore year, I kissed the first girl. It was the first time I kissed a girl. And I was like, okay, this is, <laughs> this is what it's like. This is how it's supposed to be. This feels right, like, blah, blah, blah. And so ever since then, it's kind of just been this process, and it wasn't until freshman year here, so like mid-August, early September, that I was like, that I came out, um, and, you know, people started actually knowing that I was whatever gay, whatever people choose to think of me, and yeah, it's been... I guess for me it's been easier than for a lot of other people, which I feel guilty about because there's so many people who just have such a shit time with it. Um, I think... I think coming out to my brother was maybe the hardest part of all of it because, I mean, he's kind of, you know, like, that prep. He goes to, like, an all-boys school. You know, he's, like, ladies' man, blah, blah, blah. And when I told him, he was kind of like, why? 
like I could do something about it. He was like, don't be, and I was like, but why? And he just, you know, he thought he, I think for him it was more like it was just oh, the way of seeing me, like he thought it would, he would see me differently. Um, and I reassured him, I was like, just give it some time, it'll be fine. And I think now we're on the same page, kind of. Um, but yeah, my sister, who's a lot older than I am, was completely fine. She was like, I don't, like, it doesn't, you know, most people that I meet are like, it doesn't really change the way I see you, which I love. Um, and I think that's why I love it here so much, because everyone's just so liberal, and people just don't really care, you know, that's not the first thing they think of when they think of someone, uh, which is how it should be. Um, and, you know, it's, it's great. It's been, I guess, I haven't had to have so, such, I haven't, I haven't had a really hard time with it. Um, for me, the hardest part was coming to terms with myself and dealing with that. But yeah, um, that's my spiel. That's my story. And you guys will learn more about me as videos come and go. But yeah, have an excellent Tuesday. I'm sorry it's so late. It's been midterms. It's been crazy. So I hope you guys have a wonderful week, and I will see you next Tuesday. Bye.